Hello everybody and welcome to lesson 1, Introduction to Research. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about what is not research, what is research, and when to conduct research. Let's start from what's not research. Research doesn't mean applying different models to solve managerial or organizational problems. In operation research, there are different models like transportation model, assignment model, linear programming model, and so on. So we apply this model, we have to apply this model so as to arrive optimum solution, so as to allocate our resources or to minimize the cost and to maximize the profit. So applying these models to solve managerial and organizational problem doesn't mean research. Data collection doesn't mean research. Actually, it is part of research process, but it doesn't mean research. Reviewing the literature also doesn't mean research, but it is part of research process. Simply information gathering doesn't mean research. Rearranging factors or reports cannot define research. Research is based on the work of the others, it's known, but does not copy of the other. It does not mean the copy of the or it does not mean the direct copy of the others. Actually, we have to base on the work of the other to know the current situation, to know the past trend, or to expand our knowledge on the study matter. But it does not mean that it's just a copy of the other. It does not mean the copy of the others. So if the above does not mean research, so what is research? Research is a journey of discovery from known to unknown on a specific topic. Research starts from known and goes through to the unknown to discover or to know what is unknown. But it should be on a specific topic. Research deals with specific topic rather than just a general. And research is a scientific careful investigation and it begins with equations in the mind of researcher and in this with unacceptable answers. It begins with equation and in this with answers. By the way, if there is no question, no need to conduct a research. So for the research to conduct, there should be equations to be answered. Research can be defined as defining and redefining problems, formulating hypotheses or suggest solutions. Sometimes it is necessary even to redefine the problems. It is essential to redefine the problems in different contexts or in different situations. So we have to conduct a research on that specific problems again and again with different contexts and formulating hypothesis or suggest solution. By the way, hypothesis means just a prediction of the research to be tested. Research is a process of collecting, analyzing, and interpreting information to answer questions via sound techniques. It is a process of different activities like collecting, analyzing. After collecting the data, we have to analyze using different tools like SPACES, AMOS, and so on. And after analyzing, we have to interpret, we have to provide a meaning for that result. So we have to get answers for the question with sound techniques. That means we have to follow, we have to follow series of steps or research scientific methods to conduct the research. In general, it is a careful and scientific investigation on situations to establish factors and principles. Research simply adds knowledge. Research converts information, data, and information to knowledge. Let's see the relationship between research and knowledge pyramid. Research versus knowledge pyramid. By the way, knowledge pyramid has four levels of understanding. 
our four levels of knowing, which starts from data, go through information, knowledge, and the top or the most levels of understanding is wisdom. Data means it is just a figures put in a row or a practice. It is simply a practice which does not have any meaning. When we convert this data, when we provide meaning for this data, so it becomes information. Information tells us about something. Information has a meaning. After sorting or after some arrangement, the data tells about something. So it becomes information. And if we collect the relevant information for a conclusion, for the purpose of a conclusion, so it becomes knowledge. Knowledge means a relevant information which helps us to arrive on conclusion. And after that, after knowledge, if we apply a solution, if we are going to design a strategy to solve the problems that we get on the levels of knowledge, so it becomes wisdom. Wisdom is the applications of strategy for the problem, the applications of techniques for the problems investigated at the levels of knowledge. This is about uh, the knowledge pyramid. Now let's take one example and let's relate knowledge pyramid with research. The example is a firm wants to do research on service quality after implementing the modern system. After adopting the modern system, a firm wants to know whether that modern system brings service quality on the customers or not. So the firm wants to conduct a research and the firm collected data from the customers. So that data is just raw figures or raw facts which doesn't tell anything about the customers. After some sort of the data based on some features or characteristics, so the company gets the younger population service quality exceeds the older population. So it becomes information because it tells the company that the younger average exceeds the older average. And uh, after further analysis, the company gets the youngers accept technology easily. This is the reason why the younger average exceeds the older average. So the company knows the reason behind or the hidden reason. The company discovers the hidden reason that the younger population accepts technology easily while the older uh, population face a problem. So, based on this neology, based on this neology, a company designs a strategy which considers the older population to help the older population to adopt the modern system. So, a company wants to solve the problem which is observed on neology level. This is what we call wisdom. In short, research converts data to knowledge. When we apply, when we design a strategy to solve a problem which is investigated with research, so it becomes wisdom. This is all about the relationship between research and knowledge pyramid. And let's continue when to conduct business research. By the way, it's not, it's not advisable to conduct a research. It's not advisable to conduct a research at any time for any issue. To conduct a business research, we have to follow the following yes or no questions. So first, we have to test the time constraints. Is there a sufficient time available before a decision will be made? Because here, a manager uses research 
for making a decision for making proper decision a manager needs research so is there a sufficient time before making a decision if there is time so we have to go to the next if there is no time to conduct a research for the decision making so if it is urgent there is no need to make a research if there is time so we have to go to the next step and we have to check we have to check the availability of the data is it feasible to obtain the data if we cannot get the data for our research so we have to stop here if we can get we have to go for the next step let's check the nature of the decision is the decision considerable strategic or tactical importance if the decision does not have strategic or tactical importance here we have to stop doing the research we have to stop doing the research if not we have to continue to the next step we have to compare the benefit versus the cost of the research does the value of the research information exceed the cost of conducting research if the cost of the research conducting the research exceeds the value the output of the research so we have to stop doing the research if not we have to conduct business research so we have to follow these steps to conduct business research this is all about today's lesson and we will continue with the next session where to find research ideas and topic selection consideration pointers have a good time bye